basically two different chokes in the tri-power setups. The 59 to 65 tri-power uh, has a vacuum operated choke or vacuum uh, heat choke and uh, they're essentially the same and I'll describe how that works to you here. Um, people ask about setting the choke, it's really uh, not too difficult. On the 59 to 65 you'll loosen the three screws here on the Bakelite cover which I've already done. Make sure that um, the cover is loose because sometimes you loosen the screws and it's stuck and you can see this is a customer's carburetor. Uh, he's broken out, somebody has broken out over the years part of the Bakelite cover but uh, in order to get the uh, idle screw off the fast idle cam and loosen the choke flap you have to open the throttle just a little bit. Uh, kind of depends what temperature is, it's about 75 degrees in here so I adjust the choke by turning the, the Bakelite cover here until it's almost closed, it doesn't need to be all the way closed and then you just tighten these three screws there's a little more adjustment to the choke in these, a couple of things people don't realize um, over on this side, this is the fast idle cam right here and you can see it moving up and down as the choke opens and closes and um, Actually, this isn't set up very well. The throttle shaft needs to be moved further out, so somebody's had this carburetor apart, likely. So, I'll, when I, you know, as you can see, the screw's not even hitting on the fast idle cam, but if it was, um, the fast idle cam uh, gives you the fast idle uh, when it's closed up here. And you can adjust that, of course, with your idle screw, but the other thing people don't realize is that the, there's a small tab up here on the top that you can bend one way or the other and you can adjust, make an extra fine adjustment on the fast idle. The other thing that's integrated into this carburetor is the pull-off piston and what that is, it's, uh, there's a piston um, inside this cup that's vacuum operated and I'll take it out and show it to you here. And It just does look like a little piston. When uh, the car, as soon as the car starts, vacuum runs through the carburetor up through this passage right here up. <laughs> Wait a minute. okay up through this passage right here and then uh, this passage here is the same as this runs vacuum into the the chamber and then will open your cam pull pulls it open so as soon as your car starts it won't it doesn't need as much choke and it opens it up there's no adjustment really on that that I know of on the 66 tri-power that has the same components, they just look different. Here's a complete 66 carburetor with all the choke parts on it. Again, you have the idle adjustment screw and you can see how that does hit on the fast idle cam like it should, where that's the other carburetor I showed you it was missing. So that customer was, I'm sure, having trouble with idle. Um, there's no way in the 60, 59 to 65 you had the choke adjustment. There isn't much adjustment on this one. Um, this choke stove sits on top of the manifold and has a spring in it. As the uh, car heats up, the spring expands and, and opens the choke, pulls it open. Um, then the choke pull off on the 66 carburetor is mounted separately and can be replaced. Um, and so if the choke was on, as soon as the car starts, vacuum from the manifold vacuum runs through this tube, pulls the diaphragm inside of this choke, and opens it up. So you have a choke pull off uh, externally on the 66 carburetor and internally on the 65.